Hello everyone, those of you who are following my channel know very well that I'm interested in computer graphics, 3D design and CAD modeling. In particular, I'm interested in how AI can be used to enhance and speed up the 3D design and CAD modeling. My interests in these fields come from the fact that I'm a mechanical engineer by education. Following my interests and the interests of many subscribers of my channel, I decided to test an AI model for converting images into 3D designs. The name of the software is Trellis. This is one of the recent AI models coming out from Microsoft Research. The idea is simple. You upload an image and the program should create a 3D design that you can import in other software. Over here you can see a hugging face demonstration of the algorithm. In fact, you can upload your own images on this website and the program will run in the background on the server. So, after you generate the image, you can export the image in a popular software and you can import the image, for example, in Blender as I will show later on. Besides running the software on the online demonstrator, that is, on the official GitHub page of Trellis, you can also visit the GitHub page and then you can scroll all the way down to find installation instructions that will help you to download and install this model locally. Now, of course, to install and run the model locally, you need a decent GPU. They're saying here that it's necessary to have NVIDIA GPU with at least 16 gigabytes of memory, which is not a very strict requirement. For example, I have NVIDIA 3090 GPU, which has 24 gigabytes of RAM. Now, as I mentioned previously, you can also import this generated 3D model into some other software. For example, over here, you can see the imported model in Blender and in my opinion this looks truly amazing and you can create animation later on from this model you can improve it that is this model can be used as a starting point for further design and this can significantly speed up the modeling procedure that is the procedure of creating animation and this is why I like AI Yes, a lot of AI models are not useful and they're just a marketing tool. However, the AI models that can speed up the design can be very useful, such as this one over here. You can even create a computer game where this character is one of the main character and that moves and does all sorts of things. And of course, over here, you can click here to see the colors, which is also truly amazing. And also you can import the Gaussian. So let's try to see how the Gaussian looks like. Let me now, oops, don't do this, file, import, and then let me try this mode, and let's go to download, and let me see how the Gaussian will look like at the end. Don't worry if you don't understand all these steps, I'm going to explain them later on in this video tutorial. And over here you can see the Gaussian, how it looks. Looks really amazing. And you can see how many details you have over here. This is truly, 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 truly amazing. Okay, so let's start with the explanation how to use this program. So first of all, let's go to the Trellis web page. Here it is. And then over here you can upload the image. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to click here and I'm going to find, for example, another image. Let me see this one over here. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's not. No, let's not use this one. So let me change this one over here and let me use, for example, the first one. Okay, so let's use this one as I did. Then what you need to do, you need to here adjust the generation settings. I'm using randomized seed. Then here, if you want to have like a sparse structure generation, you can adjust the guidance strength and sampling steps. You can play with these parameters. Probably if you increase these parameters, it's going to take longer time to generate the image. So here is another parameter to play with. And then you can select this multi-image algorithm. You can use stochastic or multi-diffusion. And that's about it. You will just click on generate. And then over here, you will see the generated animation. Again, this is not the model that you can download it. The download, this is just animation that you can actually play. 
and this is the mp4 file. So here it is. This is how it looks and then you can click here to download it. Now if you go to the downloads folder you can just click on the file over here to open it up and it go, it's going to be played on your computer as the mp4 file. So that's it. However, you don't want that. You want basically to export the complete model. That is the model that you can use later on. To generate the actual 3D model, you need to scroll all the way down and over here you have several options. You can extract as GLB or you can extract as Gaussian. My suggestion is to try both. And if you click here, here you will see the extraction settings, you can see the simplified parameter and you can see the texture size. I'm just going to keep the default setting and if you click here and move all the way up, the model is going to be generated. And again, you're not generating the model on your computer, you're generating the model by using the server that's running in the background. So consequently over here, you need to be patient since it's going to take a while to create this model. The next thing you need to do is to click here to download the model. The next step is to open your favorite software for opening 3D models. First of all, let's see the model. If I double click over here, 3D Viewer will open. And this is the original Microsoft's 3D Viewer. However, if you want to do something serious with this model, I suggest you to use Blender or some other software. So let's learn how to open this model in Blender. So open Blender. Those of you who are not familiar with Blender, Blender is an open source and free software for creating animation, creating 3D models, etc. Now, click on, of course, uh, Blender is free to use and you can easily download it. So click on File and click on New and click on General. I will not save this. Now click here and erase this box, then click on File and then click on Import and over here you want to select GLB. So click here, go to the Downloads, scroll all the way down, click here and Import. And that's it. And here is the model. Looks beautiful. You can see the details it has. Okay, now if you want to see colors, just click over here and you will see colors. And later on you can play with this model, you can render it, etc. Next, let's learn how to create a Gaussian. To create a Gaussian, simply go down, or better to say to extract Gaussian and click here. Now if you move here, you will see that Gaussian is being created. Now click here to download the file, then open up here, and you will see the extension is PLY. So the next thing to do is go back to Blender However, before we go to Blender, let's see the let's see how it looks like if you open it from the Windows 3D Viewer. And here it cannot load. Okay, it cannot load the model. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to Blender. Now what I will do again, I will click on File, New, click on General. I will not save this. I'm going to erase this box, then click on File, then click on Import, and let's import the PLY file, go to Downloads, go down, click here, and import PLY. And now wait, since it's going to take a while to import this model. Let's wait and let's see. This computer that I'm using for creating this video tutorial does not have like a very powerful CPU. However, you can still see the thing over here looks really amazing. You can see how many points and details you have here. Probably even maybe even a million points or something like that, which is truly amazing. So then if you click here or here, nothing significant will change. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also on my YouTube channel, you can find more than 900 free video tutorials covering different topics. For example, I have a lot of tutorials covering machine learning, robotics, Python programming, software engineering, even applied mathematics, etc. Recently, I'm very interested in large language models and how to run 
large language models locally and how to use large language models in scientific applications and robotics applications. Okay, that's all for today and see you in the next video tutorial.